What's up guys, Hong Nian here for OG Fitness and in today's video, I wanna talk about which martial arts uh, you should start training in first and in what order so that you can learn how to fight as fast as possible. Okay, so before I get started, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the notification button, of course, and that helps me to grow and of course I appreciate it a lot. So thank you for that. So let's get right into it. Now, if I had to suggest for somebody who, who, who asked me the question, hey, I want to learn how to defend myself. I want to learn how to fight. What, what do you suggest? Okay, well, this is what I would suggest. Now, I, would not, I wouldn't suggest just one martial art because nothing, no martial art is perfect in itself, okay? But if you combine things, okay, you'll have a much better result. So in my opinion, uh, and we're talking about hand-to-hand -hand combat here, okay? And I would go with the, the practical martial arts, and I made this video uh, talking about this before, where I, 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 I separated into two categories, right? Practical martial arts, and then the, um, the conceptual martial arts, okay? So the practical martial arts are the ones that we know work on other uh, trained, fighters okay so and, and a lot of this a lot of these practical martial arts are proven because there's a lot of sparring in it and also because we see it in the uh, the MMA world okay and where the conceptual martial arts uh, s some of their stuff will work but it really depends on who's uh, doing it you know it depends on the artist and also it depends on the situation because not everything works all the time in that arena, in that the conceptual world, okay? So it's not to bad mouth anybody. If you watch the other video, I'll put a link down below, you'll see that it, it makes, uh, it'll make more sense. But in this video, I just wanna focus on the martial arts that I would, let's say, if I had a, a, a younger kid in front of me, and, I would, and, and they asked me, shit, what do I, what, where do I go? I wanna learn how to fight. I wanna be able to defend myself, you know? And uh, I would say, okay, well, we're gonna have we're gonna do it like this now if you want to go about it quickly and listen guys it takes time okay to, to become uh, proficient at anything but there are arts that that are much faster to learn than others okay so we're gonna focus on the practical ones here um, so the first one would be Brazilian jiu-jitsu now why do I say Brazilian jiu-jitsu because Brazilian jiu-jitsu is like learning how to swim okay and most people don't know how to swim. So right there, like if you, if you learn how to fight on the ground and you're able to take the fight to the ground, you have such a huge advantage over your, your opponent. It's like your opponent would be, uh, you know, like you guys are both in the water, okay? They don't know how to swim and you're the shark. So that's, that's like the, the most beautiful comparison I've, I've heard and I find that it's very true. If the person in front of you has really no experience uh, in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, like, you know, in, on the ground. So Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and this is how I suggest you should do it. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, three months, okay? Three months, three, four times a week, if more, if you can. Um, and then after three months, you'll get a, you, you'll see, you'll be able to like, literally rape a guy that's even uh, two times your size if they don't know what they're doing on the ground, okay? And, uh, and of course, there's a, there's a lot of other factors too, but I mean, generally, you should, that, you should be able to, to really dominate and make that person feel like a, like, like a victim. <laughs> okay, moving on. Next one that you should learn. Three months, take a break, go straight to boxing, okay? Oh. On a side note, I know Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is kind of expensive, but it's only for three months, guys. So uh, maybe you could get a, uh, a couple of weeks free in there. I don't know, uh, but get it done, you know. So then the next thing is boxing. Now, boxing. Why boxing? Well, because it's it's fast to learn. The, in three months, you can learn the basics. And for each art I'm going to mention here, I I want you guys to consider just doing it for three months. Okay. So three months of boxing. Okay. Three times a week or more. 
Okay, now you're standing up, you're, you, you're learning how to use your hands, you're learning how to block, you're learning all kinds of, you know, and, and this is very useful because all fights start standing up, okay? So when you're standing up, you want to know how to strike. It's very important, okay? So of course, you're not going to be the best striker in the world after three months, but you're going to know how to uh, defend yourself, how to throw a punch, how to block, how to see them coming. You'll be able to, uh, to slip punches, dodge and weave a little bit, and you know, focus on the simple stuff, the one, two, one, two. You could do so much with just a one, two and some footwork and some head movement. It's amazing. You could, you could knock out like 90% of the people on the planet. Uh, and that's just, I'm just saying that because it's just the number I'm throwing out here, but probably 90% of the people on the planet don't really train uh, in martial arts. Okay, so moving on. Now you have, if, you, if things go to the ground, and a lot of fights do go to the ground, I think the, uh, the percentage was like 90% of fights go to the ground, right? But 100% of the fights start standing up. So I want you to be able to, I would want that person, whoever asked me this question, to be able to stand up and like, you know, hit and not get, not get hit, or at least be able to absorb the, the punch. And you know, and then of course, boom, 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 usually when guys punch, they close, the distance is closed, and guess what? They fall to the ground. So that's why I suggested Brazilian Jiu Jitsu first. Anyways, okay, moving on. Three months of boxing, boom. Now I want you to go back to grappling. So you're gonna go back to wrestling. And for, you, for those of you guys who are in the, uh, in the States, wrestling is everywhere. So just go find yourself a wrestling club, and I think it doesn't cost shit either. So boxing doesn't cost much, wrestling doesn't cost much, BJJ, eh. Uh, yeah, pretty expensive um, here up in Canada. I think it's probably the same for you guys there. So wrestling, why do I want you guys to uh, learn wrestling? Well, because you'll learn a little bit of takedown in BJJ uh, and, and you should really push to, to ask and to, to get your instructor to teach you some basic takedowns and, and a lot of times uh, they, have a, uh, they, they use wrestling type of takedowns. So now I want you to, okay, Go do wrestling. So you drop, uh, you drop boxing, you go do three months of wrestling, and from here, you really get into the nitty gritty of taking a guy down. And you get used to shooting those double legs, uh, those single legs, you know, you know how to like, uh, you know, get, grab a guy's back, suplex them. You know, you're able to stay on top. And that's, so you're able to dictate the direction of the fight, so you're able to bring it to the ground if you want, okay, and you're able to, to stay on top. So I want you guys to be able to stay on top position because in a self-defense situation, you don't want to be on your back. Like you see, that's where BJJ, you kind of develop like these uh, reflexes or that might not be too, um, um, too practical in, 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 a, in a street altercation. So wrestling will let you be able to dictate where you want to bring the fight. You bring that thing to the ground, you stay on top of them, you got your BJJ, you know how to punch, you're good to go. So, three months of that. Now, once you have those three things, okay, I mean, you're pretty, pretty dangerous person at this point. Like, if you really did, you know, three months of each of these arts, three times a week or more, oof, you're starting to become uh, uh, someone that, uh, that's, that's really able to defend himself, you know? And notice, it's only three months. It's not, I'm not talking about fucking three years here for every art. So, Three months of BJJ, three months of boxing, three months of wrestling. Now, another one I would add into this is Thai boxing. Why Thai boxing? Well, Thai boxing, I find it's more complete as a stand-up art because you have kicks, you have elbows, you have knees, and you have the clinch, right? So that will round things off for you. And if you do that for another three months, oh boy, yeah, you're going to be a killer, man, uh, compared to... Uh, you're not going to be, uh, you know, super uh, advanced or anything. Uh, I would say you'd be somewhere between, yeah, between a uh, beginner and it. No, well, you know what? Let's not even go there. Let's let's just talk about self-defense. But you're pretty, you're able to defend yourself, you know. And so, where was I getting at? I forgot my point. Sorry, guys. But essentially, what I'm saying is that. You're gonna be very well-rounded, and you're gonna be ready to uh, uh, to defend yourself if ever you have to hand-to-hand -to -hand with one per against one opponent, 
And of course, if you add, uh, you know, opponents, multiple attackers, then it's another fucking story, okay? I'm just talking about one-on-one. -on -one. Let's say you got, you have some, uh, some dude, you know, that, whatever, for some, re whatever reason, let's say you want to, you want to beat him up or you want to tell him off and you're afraid he's going to kick your ass so that's why you want to train first whatever anyways i'm just making shit up but you're going to be able to handle yourself with um very very well and and so you see all these three things here okay so no four things uh bjj uh boxing because i want you guys to learn how to strike okay and then from there wrestling so that you could uh, dictate you know the uh, direction of the fight and then, if you could add boxing there, this is three, three, four arts, three months each, so that's 12 months. So within a year, you're ultra-functional. You're very, very functional in terms of, uh, very functional, very well-rounded as a, uh, uh, a martial artist because of these four things. After that, you decide like if you want to continue, you can do anything you want after that. You could like, if you just like Thai boxing and if you're like, hey, fuck it, this is my thing, then it's your thing, so train that, right? But you've already touched on everything else. It's kind of like having a general education, okay, before you decide to specialize. Um, and sometimes you might not want to specialize. Maybe, maybe you could just find an MMA gym and do all of this at the same time. That's good too, you know? Uh, so that would be a, another suggestion, right? But uh, if I wanted to, to, if I had time to build uh, somebody up, I would definitely like to, like to do it that way. Like BJJ for three months, boxing for, for three months, wrestling for three months, and then some Thai boxing. And then over, over after 12 months, uh, wow, you're gonna be pretty, um, pretty equipped to handle yourself in, in, um, in a one-on-one -on -one situation. And uh, you might even be able to get out of uh, if ever you get into some kind of trouble with, you know, uh, two uh, multiple attackers, you know, more than one guy, whether it be two, three. And once again, the more attackers you have involved, the more complicated and the more uh, chances of you getting out unhurt and, and safely. So, like, you know, it goes down, obviously, right? So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, what would you guys do differently? Would you guys suggest uh, uh, other arts or maybe these same arts in a different order or you know whatever? So leave it down in the comments so we can have an open uh, we can have a discussion about this. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, click on a notification channel, and share this video. All right, that's it for now. So see you guys next time. Peace.